The Emperor's Entertainment, Games and Leisure in Ancient Rome. Welcome to a journey back in time to ancient Rome, where entertainment and leisure were at the heart of society. From the grandeur of the Colosseum to the simplicity of board games, the Romans enjoyed a diverse range of pastimes that reflected their culture and values. As we explore the different forms of entertainment, we'll delve into the social dynamics, power structures, and psychological motivations that drove the Roman people to seek out excitement and pleasure. So sit back, relax, and join us as we uncover the fascinating world of ancient Rome entertainment. And if you're curious to learn more, be sure to stick around until the end for some lesser known facts and surprising insights. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more unique perspectives on history and culture. Let's get started. Sports and Athletics Sports and athletics in ancient Rome were a spectacle of physical prowess and entertainment that captured the hearts and minds of the Roman people. The Romans inherited much of their athletic culture from the Greeks, but they added their own flair and style to make these activities uniquely Roman. Imagine standing in the middle of the Campus Martius, the vibrant heart of Roman athletic culture. Here in this vast open field located outside the city walls, the Romans held a myriad of athletic events. You would see runners sprinting towards the finish line, the sound of their pounding feet and gasping breaths filling the air. You would hear the grunts and groans of wrestlers as they vied for dominance in the palestra, with the victor being cheered on by the enthusiastic crowd. And you would witness the sheer brutality of boxing, with fighters wearing leather straps around their fists to increase the force of their blows and battling it out in front of thousands of spectators. But it wasn't just these traditional athletic events that made ancient Rome sports so fascinating. The Romans also enjoyed the thrill of horseback riding and hunting, with the wealthy elite keeping stables of horses and dogs for the chase. They would ride across the countryside in pursuit of wild animals, their senses heightened by the rush of adrenaline and the thrill of the hunt. And of course, there were the chariot races, where drivers would race around a track, their horses galloping at breakneck speed as the crowds roared with excitement. In addition to being a source of entertainment, sports and athletics were also an essential part of Roman life. Physical fitness was highly valued, and it was believed that a healthy body led to a healthy mind. The public baths, such as the Baths of Karasala, were not just a place to relax and swim, but also a place to exercise and socialize. Even the military placed a great deal of importance on physical fitness, with soldiers engaging in regular training exercises to prepare them for battle. Board Games and Dice Board games and dice games played a significant role in ancient Roman leisure. Games like Latrun Suli, Roman Chess, Cal Suli, Roman Checkers, Turni Lapilli, Tic-Tac-Toe, and Tali, Knuckle Bones, and Tesserae, Dice, were enjoyed by people of all social classes. These games were played with various pieces and boards, requiring a combination of skill, luck, and strategy. Latrin Suli, an early form of chess, involved players attempting to capture their opponent's pieces on a grid-like board. Calsuli, similar to modern-day checkers, had players moving pieces across the board to capture their opponent's pieces. Turney Lapilli, a precursor to tic-tac-toe, was played on a simple grid with the objective of lining three pieces in a row. Tally, a game of chance, involved throwing knuckle bones, usually sheep or goat bones like dice with players aiming for specific combinations to earn points. Tesserae, another popular dice game, used small cubed dice with players betting on the outcome of the roll. Theater and music. Theater and music were not just a form of entertainment in ancient Rome. They were also a means of expressing cultural values, political ideals, and societal issues. The Romans had a deep appreciation for the performing arts, and they enjoyed a wide range of theatrical performances that catered to various tastes and interests. Imagine yourself sitting in a grand Roman theater, surrounded by the hustle and bustle of the bustling crowd. The air is thick with anticipation as the curtains rise and the actors take the stage. You are about to witness a performance that will transport you to another world filled with drama, humor, and passion. One of the most popular forms of theatrical entertainment in ancient Rome was comedy, which often dealt with themes of love, relationships, and domestic life. These performances were filled with witty dialogue, stock characters, and humorous situations that had the audience laughing out loud. Inspired by Greek new comedy, 
Roman comedies brought their own unique style and flavor, reflecting the cultural values and social norms of the Roman people. Tragedy was another popular form of theatrical entertainment in ancient Rome, with performances that explored the human condition and the nature of fate. These plays often dealt with serious themes such as war, betrayal, and death, and they had a profound impact on the audience. Influenced by Greek drama, Roman tragedies added their own distinctive touch, reflecting the unique perspective of the Roman people. In addition to these traditional forms of theatrical entertainment, the Romans also enjoyed mime and pantomime performances that focused on physical comedy and storytelling through body movement. These performances were often accompanied by music and were a popular form of street entertainment. Satire, another popular form of entertainment, provided a platform for social and political commentary through humor and exaggeration, often challenging the status quo and pushing boundaries. Music was also an important part of Roman culture, with various musical performances and instruments being used to convey emotions and tell stories. These musical performances were often accompanied by theatrical productions, enhancing the overall experience and immersing the audience in the performance. The Romans enjoyed a variety of musical styles, from the haunting melodies of the lyre to the lively rhythms of the tambourine. Circus and Chariot Racing the circus games and chariot races of ancient Rome were more than just a sport. They were a way of life, offering excitement, rivalry, and even violence. The grand spectacle took place in the Circus Maximus, a colossal stadium in Rome, as well as in other circuses throughout the empire. The stadium would be packed with people of all social classes, each cheering for their favorite factions and teams. The teams were represented by different colors, such as the reds, whites, blues, and greens, and were known for their fierce rivalries. These rivalries often spilled over into violence with fans passionately supporting their chosen factions. The circus games and chariot races provided a sense of identity and belonging for the fans, who would don the colors of their chosen teams with pride. Chariot racing was a dangerous sport that involved pushing teams of horses to their limits, often resulting in crashes and injuries. Spectators held their breath as they watched the racers navigate sharp turns called mate at each end of the track, which were especially treacherous. The charioteers, known as arige, were often slaves or freedmen who risked their lives in pursuit of victory and fame. They were skilled and daring, and their ability to control the horses and their chariots was nothing short of miraculous. Successful charioteers were often showered with wealth and fame, becoming renowned throughout the empire and earning the adoration of the masses. They would be feted with accolades, showered with gifts, and even immortalized in art and literature. The circus games and chariot races were not just a sport, but a way of life, with people from all walks of life coming together to celebrate the thrill of competition. Amphitheater and gladiator fights. The ancient Romans had a thirst for entertainment that was satiated by a variety of games, spectacles, and performances. However, none of these events captured the public's imagination quite like the gladiator fights, which were as infamous as they were popular. These brutal displays of bloodshed, spectacle, and death were held in amphitheaters throughout the empire, with the most famous being the Colosseum in Rome. Imagine yourself standing in the midst of a sea of cheering spectators, their voices echoing off the towering walls of the amphitheater. The air is thick with anticipation as the gladiators enter the arena, their weapons gleaming in the sun. They are not warriors, but slaves, prisoners of war, or condemned criminals who are fighting for their lives and entertainment of the masses. The gladiators were trained in specialized schools called ludi, where they were taught the art of combat and fighting styles that would become their signature moves. They were categorized based on their weapons, armor, and fighting styles, and each had a unique style that reflected their personality and skills. The Mermilo, for example, fought with a sword and a large rectangular shield, while the Retarius used a net and a trident. The gladiator fights were not just about the combatants, but also the animals that were used in the battles. Wild animal hunts, known as venationes, were another feature of these spectacles, with gladiators and other participants battling exotic animals such as lions, elephants, and bears. These hunts were just as dangerous as the battles between the gladiators and often resulted in the death of both the animals and the human participants. The gladiator fights were not for the faint of heart, with combatants often fighting to the death. The outcome of the battle was determined by the whims of the crowd or the sponsor of the games who could decide whether to grant mercy to a skilled or popular gladiator or not. 
The crowds were often bloodthirsty and would cheer wildly as the combatants battled it out in the arena, eagerly awaiting the next spectacle of violence and death. We hope you've enjoyed this exploration of entertainment and leisure in ancient Rome. From sports and athletics to board games, theater, and more violent forms of amusement like chariot racing and gladiator fights, we've taken a deep dive into the diverse pastimes that captivated the Roman people. We hope you've learned something new and gained a deeper appreciation for the cultural legacy of ancient Rome. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on history, culture, and beyond. Thanks for watching.